Welcome to the hot and spicy baby. Hot and spicy. Merch. How's it going? <laughs> How's the week been for you? Alright? Okie dokie. It's that time again. Save yourself on a Saturday. No eating. Um, but plenty now. What are we having? I'll show you. And I've kept. You see I like to buy got pork ribs and chicken drumsticks. Um, I like to buy my pork in Iraq and if they run out I pop over to Iran <laughs> there you go you see that hopefully you can see that rack and I'm gonna split the ribs only small today using my knife so here we go so how's the week gone for you? And that's how it cooks. Perfection. Off the bone. I am... Good health and all that. Now, as many of you watching me, we enjoy hot, spicy curries, sauces, chilli, all that type of stuff. Um, now, my, <laughs> I've got a fridge, we've got two fridges in this house. Mr and Mrs, his and hers, really, it turned out, it didn't start off like that, it wasn't intended. But with having beer... Uh, sauces and different stuff uh, I got one of these a uh, separate fridge anyway I want to use a few sauces start using them up because they build up don't they and then you see another new one and you tell yourself well you got plenty there it's like shaving stuff you don't read it oh no it's there I've got to have it got to try it so I'm going to use a few up lovely now this is just a normal rack of ribs um, with a smoky barbecue so only from Tesco in the fresh aisle as are these now these are pre-cooked in Tesco you can eat them out the box drumsticks and these are out of date yesterday they were on offer for two pounds nothing wrong with them if you're going to use them that day bit of advice if you buy something that's out of date or out of date a day or two cook the lot of them because meat will keep better cooked in the fridge right sorry about that just 20 minutes in the oven and that is perfection okay enough jibber jabber we're going to head off to Bumaris to the chilli shop Naga ketchup and I'll say a big thank you in a minute as well here we go so what are you having then tonight and if you're going out have you got an idea what you fancy I say mm. I was talking this morning to one of the lads in work and he said I'm not keen I'm not sure if it's on these drumsticks or the um, wings mm. he said there's too many things like this in it I said we'll buy the thighs by the thigh, plenty of meat, and just the one, just the one bone in it. Cooks just the same. That's nice. That nice bit of a kick. It doesn't taste like ketchup. It's just their name for a. It's sort of a tomatoey taste, but it's not ketchup as we know it. But it's very nice. If you want to spice up a bacon butty, 
even better. Then we're going to head over to this bad boy, this Trinidad Scorpion Wiltshire Farm um, chili farm sauce. Have you seen it yet on the hot ones? We'll try this on some pork, shall we? This is all I'm doing, if I can get hold of it to show you. It's cutting through. But I don't want it to drop, so. And there you go. I'm getting no fresher than that. Ooh, maybe too much there. Ooh, never too much, baby. Lovely sauce. Well, it's been a hot week. Hottest on record, I believe, in some places. 39 degrees C in Wales, some parts of Wales. And add a bit of humidity that to that. And we're talking a uh, bit of a wet brow. But it's been nice, it's summer isn't it? So, and what I think of every time, my tomatoes love it. Lots of them, I've got lots of green ones now. Some bigger than others, small ones. Um, got a couple going to start ripening I think. Most of my chilies now are ripe except for one. It's nearly there. So that'll be that done. I could keep the chilli plant going because I noticed this new flower shoot starting is regenerating itself but I'm going to pack it in because the aphids will come back I can see one or two on it now trying their best with the new leaves so that's enough for me I've had a, I've had a, more, of a more of a crop than I thought I'd have so I'm quite happy with that enough jibber jabber blue dragon hot chilli sauce and we'll go with some chicken on this. So a bit of a mixture this week. Chicken drumstick. Look at that. You can't beat that, can you? Chicken drumsticks. And uh, One of the work colleagues, not that I work with, is heading. I think he's got two weeks off, I think. Two weeks leave, and he's heading to Florida. So we should enjoy that. Mm. Absolutely beautiful. It's been good barbecue weather, hasn't it? I've had one. And I bought some um, meat already seasoned. Salted, I bought some salted beef or something. With a coating of um, a Mexican sauce. God, that was nice. And um, other things, I think, um, uh, I forget the name of it now. Anyway, a few things on, and it was lovely, forgot to show you, Carlin, so that's that one, that's nice, that's quite a thick, sort of, uh, sweet and hot, but it's not, you know, it's, you're not going to, you're not going to run to A&E, as we call it, or the um, emergency room, as they say in the States. I don't know what it is but there's something eating off the bone whether it's our caveman experience our ancestry following us okay pork rib that's the other side as you can see it's nothing it's not burns or nothing like that we're gonna have some pain oh Tony bit of pain Tony 
Bit of pain, baby. I should imagine a lot of this will hurt. We shall see. That has that pepper taste. Mm. Right, on my travels today, I'm fortunate enough to deliver to, um, well, fortunate, or depends how you look at it, or unfortunate, it's nothing to me, but uh, deliver to places that have a private jet and um, helicopters and things like that. And um, this morning, when I went, the helicopter was out, and uh, here's a little clip of it. That's the way to travel. Private helicopter. How the other half live, eh? How the other half live? Now, one thing I like about this, this sauce, you have this. Oh, you got to remember, I'm not just having this. I'm having some hot sauces um, before it, before that. So you got to build up there, and then this goes on top, and there's a lovely tingle in the mouth on that. And it's slow to start, and it it's getting there now. It comes to a peak, and then it'll reduce to beautiful. Can't beat it. Uh, what else are we going to try? Oh, I tell you what, let's try Jethro's Naga Fire. I had this in Langollen. Or as they say in England, Langollen. <laughs> oh, shake it up, shake it up. Shake it up, baby. Oh, nice. Chicken. And some of these I won't eat tonight. Some of these uh, I won't eat all this. Not that bad, you know. But um, what I do is I put them in the fridge, and I will have them. He has a lot on there. Most likely tomorrow evening. Snack. Now brings me on to Sunday. Sunday roast. I'll tell you what I'm having. Roast duck legs. Steamed new potatoes. Now I was, I've got Pembrokeshire new potatoes. And um, I'm going to steam them. I've got two lots of potatoes, but I'm going to, because I've had some very kindly again off a colleague in work. So I'm going to have the Pembrokeshire new potatoes tomorrow steamed. And then I'll have the ones I've had today, sort of Monday, Tuesday. Um, so Pembrokeshire new potatoes steamed, we've got cauliflower, we've got broccoli and we've got carrots, or carrot. Um, and they'll all be steamed. And what I do is put the potatoes in first, let them steam for a bit, then add the carrot. Or the carrot I'll put in with it, because it quite a, takes a bit of time. And then the broccoli and the collie goes in with everything at the end, so it all steams together. Um, roast duck legs. I'll have one leg and what else am I having? Lashentos of gravy, homemade gravy. Now that's that I usually say. Now somebody did say in the comments under one of my hot and spices, we hear a lot about your Sunday roast. Sunday dinner. Uh, any chance you can show um, any clips of it or you know whatever. So yes, I will film tomorrow my Sunday roast, my Sunday dinner, in clips. I'll probably I don't know how I'll do it yet, but I'll um, I'll do it. I'll use this small little camera over here, and uh, show you in sections to the to the um, end result, shall we say, end product. That's nice. That's lovely. He was a nice chap, him too. Nice to support um, 
businesses like that. This lady, she was from, she was in the show as well. But um, as I was going to say, I was going to say, oh yeah, if you want to see the Sunday dinner thing, I'll do it tomorrow. Don't do it all the time. Down a treat, I tell you. <laughs> there's a lot of um, I got a lot to do this weekend. It's a busy weekend for me um, this weekend, especially because uh, usually I'm doing the hot and spicy. I mean, I'm you know I'm not saying that I film the video and it goes up. It's not. It's not I don't look at it as work. I love doing it, but if if you've got a lot to do, so. I got this video now. I've got a video to edit for London, um, which I'll probably do sometime tomorrow, and it'll go back Monday or Tuesday ready. The shaving video tomorrow morning that goes up, um, stuff like that, and then the Sunday dinner. <laughs> so it'll be a busy, busy all day. But it's a, it's a. What can you say? It's a, it's a, not work, is it? Passion, it's a hobby. I love it. Beautiful. Mm. Right. This is a fairly new. You've seen these all before, but I need to use them up. A fairly new mahi, ma mahi. So it's spelled English. That's a funny name for an English product. Uh, all natural ingredients 2008 they started scorpion pepper and passion beautiful sauce Tesco's so if you haven't tried it worth a worth a dabble baby worth a bit of a dabble be very careful not because it's hot because <laughs> it's quite thin and they go all over the shop There's a slight, um, ooh, very slight, I can taste things like that, a very slight vinaigrette taste to that, very slight, you might not, you might taste anything, no it's not, it is to this palate, just a slight tang, it's not the hottest sauce in the world, but it's marked as a, a one, two, three, four, five chilli mark there. But um, it's a nice sauce. They do a, this firm does a few v v variations of uh, flavors, but this was the hottest one, so I had to get it to try it. Now I want to thank here. Now I got a little package here, and it came from David Shannon. Can I make sure I've got that right? Glasses. Oh, yes, we have. Let me just make sure. David Shannon many thanks David because he sent me pork scratchings pork rinds and two packets of these and they're called hog lumps <laughs> I love that name hog lumps but they're ghost flavoured pork scratchings so they're coated in ghost chilli and I'm going to try one Find that gold, oh, you just pull it nice. There you go. That is a pork scratching, pork rind, coated in ghost chili powder, I expect. Excuse me, noise. No, oh, I love pork scratchings. Oh. 
it's not as warm in here, but it's still warm. We should sign that sign now, you can't see with my big thing here. Mm. There's a beautiful coating. If you like, I've said this before, if you like scratchings or rinds and you like spice, oh, it's worth trying them. I don't know why David got these. Doesn't say. What does it? Oh, I can't see. Anyway, that's them. And they're absolutely nice. You got the taste of the pork, and you got the taste, just that kick, just a bit of a bit of a on the tongue. Absolutely beautiful. And they go down well with a few of them, let me tell you. If you're watching any of your um, favourite YouTube people or whatever, or videos or whatever you watch on a weekend or an evening, well worth it. Thank you, David. Much appreciated. Um, what should we go with? We've tried all the sauces now, have we? Yeah. What should we go back to? I won't let it drag this. I know you've got lives to live. Um, have you joined me tonight? Mm. Yeah, quite a sweet hot sauce there. It's quite nice. I'm going to have another pain one. Because the, the intensity of this, you don't get it straight away. You get it a bit later on. taste and then just leave it then and then all of a sudden it's like putting a match to a fire little flame in the beginning and it'll start then. that's what life's about we'll top up shall we so yeah big the Royal Welsh show is just finished in um, San Elwedd, um, most of the farmers, North, Mid and South Wales, go to it. Ooh, they have a, there's a big show. They said it's one of, if not the, biggest agricultural farming show in the world. Of its kind. Yeah. And, uh... Oh, um a bit of interest if you follow me regularly um, Carol Vorderman got a show BBC Radio Wales and uh, she was at the show uh, that's why I was following it she they asked building up now kicking in then saliva starting you'll have a slight glazing of the eyes um, you may start sweating but I I'm hot in here anyway but um, We'll soon see, but it's lovely. I like that. Just a burn out, burn there. Just a not major, but it's, it's nice. Um, yeah, she was following the show last week, and I was listening in as I'm working. And it's um, it's it's, it's nice, you know. The it's the farming industry in Wales is massive, obviously, is um, very important. So it was good. Anyway, she was talking about, um, she, she lived, uh, Carol Vorderman, she lived in, um, she was born in Prostatin, she went to school in Rill, and she lived in Denby for about 10 years. Anyway, I was listening to her today, and I contribute to the show quite often. 
via text or phone in or something like that. Um, and I was due to go on it a couple of weeks ago with a fella called Jason Mohammed. But um, when they sent the phone, when they send you a message, you say, can you come on in within the hour? And you say, yes, okay. And then they'll phone you. Or they'll send you a message, Are you, can you take a call now? And of course I was out of signal, out of service when I so it didn't come through. But Carol was saying that she when she lived in Denby, she used to go to the Brit for a drink and you think bloody hell <laughs> Cause she's quite a famous lady, you know. She's done very well for herself, um yeah, very clever. Anyway, we'll leave it at that because it'll drone on and on, I'm sorry. Um I'm gonna finish I'll probably finish this, the ribs, and I'll keep the three drumsticks in the fridge for tomorrow night as a snack with some more sauces. Um, the reason I'm doing this tonight is because I want to use them up. Um, you can't just keep adding bottles and bottles, you've got to use, you know, and some of these are quite expensive. Especially that one from Tony, that was quite an expensive one he said. So. Anyway, many thanks for watching. I hope you have a great weekend. If you follow me on the other, I'll see you in the morning. If you don't, I'll see you tomorrow anyway, showing my Sunday dinner, Sunday roast, whatever you want to call it. Another thanks to David, Shannon. Many thanks, David. Very kind. Thanks to Carlin. We're knackered without them. And um, that is it. I'll leave you to it. Have a great weekend. Stay in good health, have a laugh if you can, get leathered and have plenty of spicy food. <laughs> All the best, take care.